Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Just like every time, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day and watching a beer review here on the channel. Uh, tonight, I'm taking a look at one out of uh, Moeller Brew Barn, another local one here in uh, Ohio. Hashtag drink local. So what we got here is, this here is their Pink Ribbon Girls. So... I'll read a little bit about here in a second. This was brewed and part of to raise awareness for um, uh, breast cancer and uh, gynecological cancers. Now this right here is uh, a Shandy or a Rattler. I think they call, they call it a Rattler here on the can. It says Lemon Berry Rattler, Pink Ribbon Girls. Um, so Rattler, Shandy, whatever you, uh, whatever term you like to use here. I won't get into that debate. Uh, so just looking at the can there. Uh, I, Right now, it's five out of five for the artwork, okay? Um, I like everything about this, bringing awareness to cancer. Uh, it says, no one travels this road alone. And that is uh, part of the uh, slogan for the uh, Pink Ribbons Girl. So, see the molar brew barn? I, I should have the video rolling up there anyway. So, let's set it right here. <laughs> let's read a little bit about it. Uh, it says it was brute support in support of the Pink Ribbon Girls' mission to provide free, direct service to individuals and families battling breast and gynecological cancers. When you enjoy a glass of Pink Ribbon Girl Shandy, you are helping to ensure that no one travels this road alone. So I go to Pink Ribbons Girls' uh, website, pinkribbongirls.org. It says, we don't just talk about cancer, we take on cancer. We are here to make the burden lighter for you and your entire family. We ensure no one travels this road alone. Our mission, Pink Ribbon, Pink Ribbon Girls, provides healthy meals, rides to treatment, house, clean, house cleaning services, cancer education, and peer support to breast and gynecological cancer patients and their families. Um, independent of age, stage, or social economic status, and free of charge. The organization was created by women with breast cancer to support and empower others who are currently in the fight against breast and gynecological cancers. Uh, we strive to balance the fear and uncertainty that breast and gynecological cancers bring to individuals and families by providing free, direct services to those throughout Central Midwest and Southwest Ohio, uh, Northern Kentucky, uh, St. Louis and the St. Louis, Missouri area and San Francisco Bay area in California. All right, so we all know somebody that's uh, um, dealt, um, you know, dealt with cancer or we've all been affected of that in some way or the other. I lost my father to cancer in 2014. My grandparents, uh, grandmother, grandfather, other grandmother all passed away of cancer as well. So anything that supports bringing attention, bringing awareness, um, raising funds for cancer. I'm all for that, okay? So let's crack this thing open and see what it's all about. And it said, uh, oh, that, yep, nice pink. I thought it would be pink. It makes sense for it to be pink. Looks like it's got a nice pink hue to this. A uh, few fingers of, uh, no, not, just over two fingers of a white head up. White head up on top, maybe, maybe um, just a hint of pinkness to it. It could also be just the pink color of the beer, um, creating this pinkness uh, up in the head there. So, get a look at that. Looks kind of like a like a hazy glass of pink lemonade, honestly. So it's uh, lemon berry. Um, I'm assuming lemonade and blueberry see a little blueberry on there so i'm assuming blueberry so let's see what the nose offers so you get that um that shandy um rattler type of aroma coming off of it but i also get the uh like a lemonade typical lemonade shandy aroma With a, it's got a mild, I guess it would be the blueberry in here, creating this, uh, just this mild um, sweet berryness, probably the blueberry.
So your typical Shandy. Uh, I believe the base beer here was a Wheat L. Um, and I could be mistaken on that, but I believe the base was a Wheat L uh, going into this one here. It's got that that haziness to it like a like a wheat beer would have. So let's get a drink on this, see what it's all about. So this is 4.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, thin, watery mouthfeel. You get a little bit of that uh, zesty uh, lemon um, flavor in here with a little bit of a blueberry mixed in. Not a huge fan of that right there, the combination. That being said, I could drink these. No doubt I can drink these up. So, you got this wet, um, lemony, lemonade type of mouthfeel going on here. Kind of a, a zesty lemonade, a zesty lemon uh, flavor here with some mild uh, berry, blueberry, blackberry. I'm going to say blueberry because that's what's on the can there. I get like a like a berryness, like a dark berryness to this um, as well. Uh, as far as you get that kind of that, that grainy wheat beer um, taste to this as well. Um, it's pretty solid. Um, I love the cause. Um, five out of five for the cause. The beer itself... I'm probably punching in just under a four. I'm gonna go with a 3.9 out of five on this one here. Um, it's a good beer. It's a great, it would be a great, it's gonna be a great summertime beer, no doubt. Ice cold, pulling out of a tub of ice by the pool, by the grill, on the beach, whatever it is you're doing, mowing a yard after you're done mowing a yard, doing some yard work. This would be a fantastic one. Um, but I'm solid uh, 3.9 out of five. You've had this before, let me know what you think about it. Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. If you're new to the channel, be sure, give the video a thumbs up. Be sure you comment, be sure you subscribe, and be sure you, uh, you know, share the video. Check in, uh, check back with me, watch some of my other videos as they come out. I've been releasing them about uh, one every day. Not recording one every day, record a few of them, uh, maybe in one day, and I've been uploading, uh, I'm going to try to do one a day all summer long. So, hey, anyhow, appreciate you watching.